you going? You're going to sit on the bean bag. What was this? So now with dinner out of the way, we've just chucked on the booties and all the sort of colder weather gear. We've got one Gigi in hand, no bucket or anything like that. So what we showed you before with the rocky outcrop in on the bay that we've anchored in tonight, we're making our way over to that now and we're just going to walk through there with the Gigi, got a couple of torches and we're going to see what we can find. So really we're hoping we can find a good crayfish or something inside of one of these rock pools. If there's anything really notable that we want to get we'll make a trip back for that as well and in saying that I don't think we're going to find anything as crazy as that jawfish that we found a couple of episodes back but if we do you'll be the first to know about it so really excited to see what we can find this time it's really good fun foraging through these rock pools in the night so let's go see what we can get where are we yes let's find some creatures First sign of life. With lots of little fishies. We'll find some bigger ones than that. They're teeny weeny fishies, these ones. We're gonna get some bigger ones. You can see that's ground height there. This is what would normally be like a big two metre deep bomber here, all exposed with this tide being out right now. So let's just Go for a walk in here. See some pools of water here. This is what we're hoping to find. Something crazy in amongst all of this. Some sea lice there, big suckers. All right, so there's the first crayfish of the night right there. Under that ledge, he's got the light in his eyes and he's kind of making his way out. All right guys, so I got gloves here just for the occasion. Tucked them in my little waterproof bum bag on the front of me here. We've got them there. In classic style, there's a crayfish down there and he's bunkered in right next to a nice long spiny sea urchin. So I'm just going to see if I can reach over and grab him. I don't want to harm him, so I don't want to grab by the antenna if I can avoid it. I want to try to grab the body. So let's see what I can do. Say so go Rowan! Go Rowan! I won't. You just keep sitting there and holding on to me, okay? He's moving. Hey! Good job, Rowan! Good job, Rowan! There he is there. He's, he's legal too. He's actually not too bad, that one. Surprisingly. Awesome! Um, Rowan's going to come show us his crayfish. Hey! Woohoo! Oh, look at that! Okay, guys, so... That's a big one. There you have it. That's a painted crayfish, this one. Definitely legal. This one, hey! This one is a female. Oh, ho, ho, not so early, mate. It's not buried, but the way you tell it's a female is it's got twice the amount of flaps on the bottom side here for holding eggs when it does need to, but Whoa. that's exactly what we came for come here tonight and get these guys so pretty stoked with that Whee! okay guys I'm just standing back in my boat now I've just dragged it out and pushed it offshore now that the tides come back in I've come back from over at the rocks there and the girls are asleep so I'll be going to bed with them in a minute but to sum tonight up 
we went straight over to those rocky outcrops as soon as the sun set tonight and within five minutes we found that first crayfish and from there i thought we we're going to be absolutely on all night the girls went to bed and then I walked back over. I probably walked around for another two hours once I got back over there and didn't manage to find any more crayfish. A couple of dead ones, a couple of shells, but nothing alive and that was about it. No flathead, no blue bone, anything like that. So much to my surprise, um, it was quite quiet and I really, really did put in a good effort. So I did the best I could, but uh, I'm out on the boat now and I've just taken out about 50 meters off shore so i can safely anchor it and give it a bit of drift comfortably for the tide tomorrow um so we're going to wake up in the morning and get stuck into things i'm not too sure what we're going to do yet probably go for a dive the tide is going to be low at about 8 30 in the morning which should work out perfectly low wind low tide sun up i should be able to get a good dive in so i think that'll be on the agenda but next thing you'll see is us waking up in the morning on a nice uh, sunny beach with the girls and we'll get stuck into a coffee and then we'll ramp up into our day. So, see you soon. Go. Okay, good morning. We've just woken up on a nice, sunny, beautiful morning on this beach here. Um, Indigo's just woken up and it's about somewhere around quarter to eight in the morning, I think. And I was mentioning last night that the low tide's going to be at 8.30 this morning, so the conditions are as perfect as they could possibly be. But rather than me bore the girls and drag them out on the boat and make them sit and watch me dive for a few hours, I'm going to start the day with a shore dive and that way they can just stay here resting and enjoying their coffees and hot chocolates and then that way I'm just going to go for a swim out now. So I've actually brought my dive gear onto the beach with me last night. I'm going to suit up and then swim out to a couple of bummies that I found with the drone and then we'll go see if we can start the day with a few crayfish. Possibly a blue bone or a trout or something in shallow that decides to show its head and then we'll get the day started from there. Who am I talking to? Am I being silly? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so I'm just armed with my little 900 here. I'm suited up and ready to go. Got my torch, good to go as well. Despite it being bright and early in the morning, the torch is still super handy for looking under ledges and things like that, spotting fish and crayfish even in the daytime. So we're gonna swim out with the 900 and uh, just gonna go along this rock edge here where we walked last night and go see what we can find. So we'll see you out there. Be safe. I'm going to take the boat. I knew it was shallow, but I didn't realise it was that shallow. Um, do you mind grabbing me my baby soap out of my dive bag, please? Okay, change of plans. Too shallow, too dirty, for too far out. It's just a real pain swimming along there, so I want to get out there, spear a fish, and then have to swim back with it. That far, just for a measly fish, I'm actually going to jump in the boat now and then head out and try to sort of dive in deeper water, a bit clearer, get some proper ledges and stuff going because that was just dirty and way too shallow. Big throw. Whoa, watch out for the tide! Whoa! Thank you. Thank you, I'll be out on the boat. Crystal clear water. Low tide, it's gonna be perfect out here. Not a bad start for the morning anyway. Hello. Hello. Have you come to check on me? Yeah, trout and a cray. Unreal. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, Indigo. I missed you. Are you having so much fun on the kayak? And is Teddy Coda? Yeah. Do you feel safe? Yeah. That's good. Ron's going to get a few more fish and then I'll come pick you guys up, okay? okay. And then we'll go out for a little boat ride and a fish. Okay. Alright, love you.
another good cry this one although this one's quite soft but good size so we're taking him Right guys, so not a bad little start there for the morning. Got myself four crays and a decent cold trout in the esky there now. But I'm pretty keen to go for a jig or a fish um, and sort of get out of this area as nice as it is. I do want to head out into some deeper water. It's not too much going on here, so I'm going to cruise back in down to the shoreline now and go get the girls. We'll start packing up camp. We'll hit the water and then I'll see if uh, Eden's keen for a jig and we might head out behind these islands and go see what we can jig up from about 20 meters or so so let's go get the girls and we'll get back on the water I get it, I get it. Say, don't touch the boat don't touch the boat you naughty nemo <laughs> you touched the butt <laughs> Is that cool? I think that was a dolphin or a whale. A dolphin? I, I think I think it was a whale. Okay everyone, I'm on the water with the girls now, but they're not too phased about fishing or diving for today. So what we're gonna do is just pack it up and head home. We've just had a quick look around. A couple old marks, a couple fresh spots, nothing really taking my fancy too much. And there's a pretty strong ripping tide, so I'm not too phased about going for a dive. So we're going to wrap it up there, it was a good little uh, overnight weekend adventure just camping out on the local islands and we're going to get out for a couple big fishing trips over the next couple of weeks if the weather allows. So that's it for this one, we hope you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next one when we get into a full blown fishing session. Mm -hmm.